If this person is absolutely retarded, you could say. So you have to diagnose as a teacher if someone is retarded as fuck. Too long, didn't watch. This semester was a lot of work for me. There was so much stuff to do. I was working so much this semester and I had so many courses to do. It was absolutely abysmal, but it was kind of worth it, I guess. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. So before we get this video actually started, I want you guys to leave some questions in the comments below or send me a few questions via pi equals three at papaflemmy.engineer or fappablemaths at gmail.com, I really don't care. I would like to create another Q&A. The amount of frequently asked questions is just taking overhand at the moment. <laughs> Nobody apparently knows what I'm studying or whatsoever, so please um, leave some comments down below or send me a few emails with a few questions and I am going to try to cover most of the questions. If you didn't know, most of you don't know apparently, I already have a and a out where I answer a lot of questions, so link will be in the description, check it out. Also, it's almost Valentine's Day. You are going to get 15% off everything in Papa Flemmy's shop down there in the description and also my spreadsheet shop up until Valentine's Day. Use the code, I don't know, less than free probably. It's a hard, it's hard. And now we can actually get started with the real video. This right here is Hannah, my cat. Yeah, you can watch her. She's way more beautiful than I am. She's a way more beautiful individual. Isn't that right, Hannah? Isn't that right? Yeah, at that boy, at that girl, I would say. Ooh. So what is this video about today? Well, many of you actually want to know what I'm doing all semester long or all week long or whatsoever. So here we go. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my semester up until now. And first things first, here in Germany it's like this. We have a winter and a summer semester and the winter semester goes from approximately the October. Yeah, mid-October mid you could say to uh, mid-February, then there's exam time and then our summer semester is going to start and then it's going to start from April of the year to mid-July, something like this, and then there's exam time once again up until our winter semester starts. And this exam time is also our study break, you could say our holidays, semester ferien, you would say in German. And yeah, maybe a good point to start is the end of last summer semester you could say. It was okay, so last summer semester was quite good. I didn't have too many things to do, if I remember correctly. Goodbye Hannah. <laughs> I had to do some elementary geometry and a few more modules. So, 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 so a few more things to do but not too much because in the semesters before I tracked most of the stuff you had to do in your whole bachelor's studies to the front, so in like fourth semester I was nearly done with everything I actually had to do in my studies. And yeah, then on the, uh, I have my little um, Surface Pro right here, thanks to my Patreon supporters I was able to support one and that's one of the reasons why I can put out way more videos, we are going to come to that in a few minutes. Yeah, um, on the 18th of July, so end of last summer semester, I was dissing Fresh Toad Walker, the, the good old boy with my nice little only 0.1% of Korean elementary schoolers could solve this viral math problem. Yeah, um, that was quite fun. That was actually, uh, um, yeah, one of my most viewed videos, 30k views up until now. Yeah, what then? So I was doing elementary geometry, like I said, and there probably was something else that I couldn't remember. And the main goal of my semester break was to write my bachelor's paper. It was on semi-group theory. I actually started a video series a while back. Maybe I'm going to continue this video ser series. I'm, I'm actually not too certain because, well, it's not generating too many views, like everything at the moment. I will come to that later. Yeah, um, but I'm probably going to continue it just with way less videos than I had planned initially. So initially in my bachelor's paper series 
should contain about 30 videos, but I figured that's a bit too much, so I'm going to leave some examples out, stuff like this, to, to refuse, uh, to, to reduce, I'm terribly sorry, everything to like, I don't know, um, 20 or 15 videos at most. What is this, a motherfucking jump cut? What are you, Papa Flemmy, a vlogger? <laughs> oh boy, yeah. So um, after that, I actually released a little baking video. I came out as the baking boy, and yeah, that there's more baking math coming one after another. It's just so hard to produce. Yeah, and this video about pie, where I baked a um, plum pie, if I remember correctly, was a pretty well viewed video. Yeah. Um, what else? I wanted to talk about my semester. So yeah, last semester break, bachelor's paper, it actually turned out pretty good. I had like a good grade, you could say. 2.3 here in Germany, that's quite okay. Um, yeah. And I reached this paper in on the, let me see, let, let me take a look when I reached this paper in. I gave it to my um, Gutachter, to the guy observing what I did all the time on the yeah, 9th of October. So that's quite the jump right here. Yeah, and in between the time from July to October, I actually did a little vacation with my girlfriend in Croatia. It, it was quite a good time, so that was really good to relax. Also in this vacation, I basically wrote this bachelor paper. Yeah, it took me about, I don't know, one and a half weeks to write everything I had in there. I'm someone who loves procrastinating, so one thing you should know about me, I'm not the best student, you could say, so most of the time I do not enjoy the university stuff. It's not that I do not enjoy the stuff, it's more like it's forced on me, kind of, so you have to learn the stuff. And there's way more interesting stuff out there, and I'm more curious about, for, for example, integration theory or something like this, or just weird geometry stuff, even though I don't like drawing things. Yeah, so um, I'm not the best of students. I finished my bachelor's degree with a 2.7, so that's still okay, but not good, you could say. So I, I could definitely do better if I wouldn't start learning everything I had to learn this whole semester on the last day before an exam. So most of the time I'm doing nothing in between the semester. Yeah, I'm copying the homework of my um, fellow mathematicians there or my fellow physicists, but most of the time I'm not thinking for myself. So I'm only doing this on the day before exams. So I'm like a binge learner and I can do this pretty good. And in this process, I understand a lot of things I really had to learn and I can actually use this stuff. So I'm pretty good actually at what I do most of the time, but I'm just lazy as fuck. So yeah, that's, that's one of my big problems. There was the same thing in, in school back then, but I just didn't realize anything. I, I was a stupid little kid and I just didn't do anything and that's why I didn't even finish school, so I left school without any kind of degree. I was like the lowest scum here in Germany, you could say. I just saw that in my semester break, I actually um, did the video together with Tibbies. You should check out her channel. She's producing quite a good content. Her channel's exploding as hell in the last time. It's, it's absolutely crazy. And our video together has already 300,000 views, so this also generated a few subs for me. Not too many subs, just a few. Yeah. Um, what else? So then our semester started again, and I noticed in this time in the semester break that I don't want to complain too much about this stuff. It really doesn't change anything, but I just like addressing this issue. I noticed in my semester break that um, my channel pretty much collapsed, you could say. So my channel died out in this time. It, it was absolutely deep. deep, deep depressing, it was just uh, so abysmal. Yeah, my my view count dropped so hard, my, my sub count dropped so hard and it was quite depressing producing videos for YouTube, so that was one of the times where I thought, yeah, why am I even doing this? No one's watching my stuff. It was quite annoying. Yeah, but I figured YouTube is, is like a lottery and maybe you land a hit or you don't. So. After every 100 videos, there's going to be one that's going to land a hit, you could say. 
just a little bit and that's going to generate a few subs yeah but this problem really bothered me i had my community behind me you guys are absolutely great i just adore you guys too you are so nice <laughs> my my cat is is ringing the bell right there on her kratzbaum scratching tree yeah but it was quite annoying to be honest and at that time i stopped producing videos for like every three days sometimes i just put out a video like once per week maybe that was quite a problem i don't know you guys bear with it it was okay yeah then i started uploading the, the creator vlog videos the first one you really like because of the little fan service papa um <laughs> not wearing anything in this video except for the shorts yeah i don't know it's 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 quite weird it's it's weird it's just it's not about the money or anything but you don't get the appreciation that you would like to get i'm not someone who is striving too much for attention but i would like to get a little bit of appreciation for the stuff i do and if there are only like 1000 out of 20000 people watching a video it's quite depressing to be honest but never mind so then the, the new semester started that's where i left off i'm terribly sorry and I figured I should put up more videos and this semester was actually the time of my YouTube life right here on this new channel where I put out so many videos ba basically every two days and then in de December I put out a video every day for like nearly the whole month. It was absolutely ridiculous. It was so much stuff to do and this semester was so heavy on me so um i can show you my schedule i put together it should be somewhere here or something here can can you see it it should be big right here i can see you papa i can see myself on the screen right there yeah as you might notice i had a lot of stuff to do so never mind my schedule at the moment this semester i had a full-time job you could say at my university 19 hours per week i was doing tutorials and i was yeah taking a look at the homework and i was correcting the homework for those info boys for those it boys and also the physics boys and girls also i'm doing private tutoring twice or thrice per week so that's also something that I'm doing. Then I had YouTube and like I said, I put out so many videos this past half a year. It's absolutely ridiculous for my standards. And most of the videos aren't even too short. They are mostly like 10 minutes or longer. So that was quite a strain on me. The hardest part was to find a room where I can actually film in. But I figured I could just ask Timo, the guy who's running into the room sometimes when I'm filming. And yeah, he was um, yeah, making this room a private thing for me once or twice per week. So that was absolutely nice of you, Timo. I think so much if you are watching this. I don't think that you are watching this. You don't know my YouTube channel. But a lot of uh, people from my university already know my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I'm the papa. I'm already known. Uh, even by my professors so many professors know who i am through the internet that's that's actually quite weird to be known this widely yeah and then we had my schedule so what did i have to do let me take a look at my schedule this semester was absolutely heavy so in normal case i'm doing the masters for like four semesters but i plan on finishing my masters in three semesters so that was just a random impulse i had so i just thought to myself yeah well fuck it i'm just doing everything i have to do in this semester and then the next two semesters i have to do nothing or the next three semesters but at this point up until now i'm pretty certain that i can finish my studies in three instead of four semesters so let's start off on the upper left corner of my schedule so i had to take a look at diagnostics is that something you say in english so this has to do with um so uh, just a little background i'm doing a triple degree you could say i'm going to become a teacher in the near future in maths and physics so i have to do three things i have to do maths i have to do physics and also 
<laughs> no, this way. And I have to do pedagogic studies. And this diagnostics is part of my pedagogic pedagogical studies. So what is this exactly about? Um, this is the second take because it's quite a weird vocabulary for me. As a teacher, you, add, you have the job to diagnose people a little, a little bit, you could say. So, so you have to find out. Another disorder I wanted to say disease, but I don't want to say disease. He, ha he has a disorder, for example. If this person is absolutely retarded, you could say. So you have to diagnose as a teacher if someone is retarded as fuck. That was edgy. No. Yeah, so that's one of your jobs as a teacher and they want to prepare you for that a little bit. After that, I had didactics. Didactics should be a word of analysis, meaning we were talking about the seminar, how to teach analysis to the people in class. So we are learning all this crazy stuff in university and how to reduce this stuff to the things those people have to learn. So. We learn how to reduce stuff such that those little childs can actually learn it. Yeah, and we had to prepare some oral exams for this and stuff. Yeah, so we have to prepare some lectures for our fellow mathematicians in there. I was talking about integration techniques. <laughs> I was going a little hard on those boys and girls because they are dumb as fuck. I would consider them pretty not good at what they do. Yeah, and they were just, they couldn't even do integration by parts and they are already in their master's study. So I guess that speaks for itself. Do with this information what you would like to do. Then here's one of my most favorite algebra and number theory. And this time it only got reduced to algebra, you could say. It's a, um, yeah, it's a course in the normal case for those Bachelor of Science students in mathematics. So yeah, it's quite hard. We are talking about Galois theory and all those field stuff, everything you have to know up until Galois theory. So that's a lot of stuff and I'm having my aura exam on the 20th of February and I didn't start learning for it so I should go ahead and start because this is going to be quite a hard exam. It's probably going to be one of the hardest ever. This is apple juice my boy, no? No you are not mistaken, your boy watching that, that's, that's exactly apple juice. Next up is functional analysis. So with this, in normal case you have to do an oral exam there at the end of your studies, but we have a really nice lecturer there at the moment and her name is Elke Rosenberger. Hey Elke. And yeah, she is... Um, we are not too many people there at the moment. And what she did, she said, yeah, let's do this oral exam and nice and chill and you guys just prepare a little oral essay you could say just lecture the boys and girls right there those four people sitting there about some topic you want i still have to figure the topic so if you have anything cool about function analysis tell me yeah um it was quite a hard module because well if you become a teacher here in germany you do not learn too in depth so most of the stuff you learn is just scratching the surface. So we are learning ANL 1 and 2 and like a little bit of algebra and then you are doing elementary geometry and numerical and ANL and stuff like this. Yeah, never mind. So stuff like this, which is only for the Bachelor of Science students, is kind of hard on me. Be because a, a, a lot of knowledge is missing because I never did um, ANL 3 and ANL 4. So complex analysis or like a measure theory that stuff I never did or multivariable calculus it's just a part of our cu curriculum so yeah 
this stuff is missing and that's why it's quite hard on me. So this next one is about direct and inverse Storm Leoville problems. And I shit you not, I have no idea what Storm Leoville problems actually are. So that was quite funny. I was signing into this course and <laughs> In normal case, it was called regularizations of inverse problems, okay? So I signed into this course, then I went into the classroom, and there was just no one. No one. No one sitting there, not even the lecturer was there. And then there was some Indian girl coming in there, and she was asking me, Are you the only one? Can I fix your Wi-Fi? No, she didn't actually ask me if she would like to, uh, if she can fix my Wi-Fi. But that's a nice stereotype. Most Indian people are part of call centers. No, no, they are not. <laughs> yeah, um, and I was the only one really there. Then I was talking to her and she said, yeah, um, uh, later, then one month later. Yeah, uh, no one really wants to attend this course this semester. You're pretty much the only one. I have some other people who are in this part of mathematics and they want to give some lectures and stuff and yeah then i was sitting there with nearly no one and i was preparing once again a little oral essay and i was just talking about some random stuff like the hadamard definition of inverse problems so it was not too in-depth so i really don't know too much about this topic um, the hardest thing i did was talking about singular value decomposition, but yeah, it's not too hard, it's just some linear algebra stuff. Next up is theoretical physics three. So theoretical physics one consisted of classical mechanics and we were also talking about magnetostatics. Next up in theoretical physics two, we were talking about electrodynamics and quantum physics and in theoretical physics three, we were talking about quantum computing, theoretical thermodynamics, theoretical quantum mechanics, quantum optics. We were talking about special relativity, general relativity, um, differential geometry. Oh, so much stuff. Yeah, it's like a mix of everything. It's pretty damn stupid, it's kind of annoying, yeah. But this, together with um, fast Körper physik, not soft matter physics, um, hard matter physics, I'm going to Google it in a second, it's going to make up a, a big, big oral axiom, and that's one I'm kind of afraid of because I don't know shit about experimental physics, so that one's going to be a hard one on me, or on, on everyone probably, because everyone hates this shit. It's just absolutely annoying. I'm absolutely stupid. Solid state physics is too much. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Weird vocabulary for me. Uh, yeah. So uh, next up, function analysis, experimental physics. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be a, a huge or axiom together with theoretical physics three. So it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Next up is going to be the Praktikum zu physikalischen Schulexperimenten der. I don't know. I can see it. It has to do with didactics once again, in the physics sense. So there we had to prepare some talks about some experiments. And yeah, it's about experiments, so I absolutely despised it. So annoying. Why do I have to do this? I should just do the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. That would be way more fitting, yeah. So, like I said, we had to prepare some talks and I was talking about some physics stuff. So you are shooting out an electron beam and it's going to be seen on the screen with those rings. I don't know, in German it's called Elektronenbeugung. I don't know. And something else I've already forgotten. So that's absolutely annoying. Next semester I have to do um, Wissenschaftstheorie, so a uh, nature of science, it's called in English. It's, I don't know, it sounds like absolute dog shit. Ugh. Then I had to do a little seminar once again, my pedagogic studies about how to, yeah, uh, how to give grades to people. So 
um, how to actually examinate people. Yeah, that was kind of interesting, I guess. I'm not too much into pedagogical studies. I absolutely despise pedagogical studies. I really only like the mathematics part about my studies. Yeah, so uh, it was okay, I guess. So they were just talking about, is it okay to give grades? Can we have a school system without giving any grades or something like this? Yeah, it was just a, a huge debate all the time. Then there was something else that I have never really attended because this guy was not there all the time. He was only giving this lecture like two times and he never really announced. So he was sick most of the time. I don't know. Stupid. I have to prepare a little portfolio. <laughs> Is there anything else I had? Um, yeah, the, oh yeah, the school law in Brandenburg right here. So there was an absolute joke. In this axiom, we were allowed to take our laptops with us. So everyone was just sitting there talking to each other and you can't even call this an axiom or anything. It was just absolute bullshit. Yeah, we, we were taking photos. I was sending <laughs> WhatsApp messages to other people and was asking them what they had as an answer for a certain question, it was absolutely abysmal. At the same time where I had this uh, school law in Brandenburg, I actually had non-linear dynamics with the same professor who did theoretical physics one too. So that's, that's quite cool. In there we were talking about yeah, di dynamical systems all the time. So how to draw the face portraits and all this different stuff. So if you have ever heard about that, it's like the numerical analysis part on differential equations, you could say. So most of the time just estimating some solutions to differential equations where you can't really find a lost form or anything. Anything else, anything else. No, that's basically it. Yeah, that was quite a packed semester up until now. Semester ended yesterday and then I have to do some yeah, es essays at home and I have to do some axioms and stuff like this. So I guess I can do this. I'm pretty confident that I can finish everything up nice and fine. What else did I do? So yeah, then there was Papa Flammy's advent calendar and that actually was quite a huge success. So it got many views, especially the, um, the Math Ventures Integral Wars. There was quite a successful video. Yeah, and after that I, after New Year's, I went to Prague and I got sick as hell. So all the time, all over Christmas and even before I was ill all the time. So I had everything, it was absolutely stupid. But after Prague, it was even worse. So. There wasn't a good time after Prague. And now I'm at a point where I produce videos every two days once again, even after the advent calendar was over. And at the moment I'm kind of demotivated once again, not because I have so much to do in my university at the moment, because of the work I have to do, it's just because of my few rates and sub rates once again. So I'm not getting too much recognition. I try to stay active on YouTube and everywhere I have my new blog now, papaflammy.engineer. But yeah, um, it's just not satisfying at the moment. It's quite depressing and it's making me sick. No, no, it's not. I just love my community and that's why I keep doing videos. I'm getting money for it and I love spending this money on new equipment and stuff like this. Just like here. So this tablet PC right here is one of the reasons why I'm actually able to put out so many videos in the last time just because I can edit videos while I'm away and that's pretty dope that is pretty good so yeah mm, that's really cool but I just hope that my channel is going to get some more recognition in the next time once again it's it's really depressing when you produce videos and you try to keep the quality up at least a little bit and then no one's watching the stuff and you just think to yourself, why did I even do this? Even my integral videos, so most of the time 
Most people here on this channel are actually subscribed.